I'm Mike Barsick, Director of Technical Services at South Face. Blower doors have long been used in the home performance, green building, and weatherization industries to improve the performance of homes. They are also used to verify that energy code requirements are met. Blower doors were first used in the 1970s and have become a staple of performance programs ever since because they can help locate and quantify the air leakage between the conditioned space in a home and unconditioned spaces like attics, crawl spaces, or garages. Because heat and moisture can enter or escape a home through these penetrations, it is critical that these penetrations are sealed to increase a home's efficiency, comfort, and durability. The blower door is a calibrated fan that quantifies the amount of air required to pressurize or depressurize a home to 50 pascals with reference to the outside. By testing the house at 50 pascals and exaggerated pressure, the blower door eliminates natural pressure differences like the stack effect and wind. When conducting this test, we typically depressurize the home to ensure that bath, kitchen, and clothes dryer exhaust dampers will be pulled closed. We sometimes pressurize the home so that pollutants are not drawn into the house. For the purposes of this video, we will depressurize the home. The pressure gauge indicates the amount of air that is moving through the fan in cubic feet per minute, CFM. A cubic foot is about the size of a milk crate of air. The amount of air that is leaving the home through the blower door must equal the amount of air entering the home through all of its gaps and seams. Many home performance contractors use the blower door on existing homes along with other tools to find the leakage pathways in the home. Now let's go over the equipment we will need to conduct a blower door test. The blower door consists of a frame, canvas, fan, gauges, and tubes. You can also use a smokestick or infrared camera to help visualize airflow in the home. There are several companies that sell blower door equipment. The equipment we are using in our demonstration is from Energy Conservatory. The blower door fan and gauges are calibrated so that leakage is accurately measured. After the equipment is purchased, it is important to properly maintain it so that it remains calibrated before you begin any testing. It's important to set up the house properly to make sure the test is accurate, the home is not damaged, and to ensure that safe conditions are maintained during the test. Set the house to its wintertime mode by closing all exterior doors and locking all windows. Close any interior attic or crawl space accesses if connected to the interior space. You must also open up all interior doors and turn off all air moving devices, such as bath fans, kitchen fans, air handlers, clothes dryers, and so on. You also need to make sure you set all combustion appliances connected to the living space to pilot so that they will not fire during the test. Make sure you put the driver's keys next to the water heater to help you remember to turn the water heater back on after you've completed the test. If the home has a fireplace or wood stove, make sure that any fires are extinguished and take precautions to prevent ashes from being sucked into the building during the test. For additional steps, follow the procedures in Appendix A of the ResNet National Rating Standards. Now we are ready to set up the blower door. Set up the frame of the blower door Fit the frame to a centrally located exterior door of a large room. Fit the frame in the tarp and put in the center brace. Route the green reference tube outside four feet to the side of the blower fan opening so that you can measure the pressure outside. Insert the fan with flow rings installed in the elastic hole with the exhaust side of the fan facing the door panel. Plug in the fan and install the gauge on the door or frame. Once the blower door is in place, you will set up the gauge. The digital gauge has two sides, each with a pressure gauge. Each pressure gauge measures the pressure difference between two taps. The A side, on the left-hand side, will measure the pressure of the home with reference to the outside. Plug in the green tube, which runs to the outside of the house to the bottom of side A. 
The B side of the gauge will measure the pressure difference of the fan with reference to the fan inlet side. Connect a red tube from the fan to the upper tap of side B of the gauge. Since the digital gauge measures the fan pressure, it can be programmed to calculate the CFM passing through the blower. Now you must program the gauge for the correct equipment installed. For instance, the gauge has the capability of running a one-point or multi-point test. For the purposes of this video, we are running a single-point test that utilizes a single measurement of fan flow needed to achieve a 50 pascal change in building pressure. To begin the test, turn on the gauge by pressing the on-off button and press the mode button twice to make pressure flow PR slash FL at 50 show up at the lower left hand corner. Before running the blower door, you must establish a baseline pressure and zero the gauge to adjust for any small envelope pressure differences, such as wind and stack effect. To zero the gauge, cover the fan inlet completely, hit the baseline once, press the start button, and let side A display a long-term pressure reading while side B shows the elapsed time in seconds. Let the test run until you are satisfied with the reading, at least 10 seconds. Finally, hit the enter button to accept and enter the baseline reading into the gauge. Notice the gauge now reads zero or close to a zero adjusted. On the top left-hand corner, select your device as blower door series three. BD3 using the device button. The blower door fan comes with several calibrated flow rings to best match the needed fan flow. Correct installation of the ring is important for test accuracy. Leaky homes may require you to use no ring or open fan, whereas tighter homes would use ring A and very tight homes will allow you to use ring B. For this test, we will use ring A. If you are using ring A, select config once so that the gauge reads A1. Now you are ready to run the blower door. Once the gauge and blower door are set up, simply turn on the fan and depressurize the home to 50 pascals by increasing the fan motor speed until the house pressure is negative 50 pascals. After you have achieved the test pressure of negative 50 pascals, record the CFM passing through the fan. This is shown on the channel B or right side of the gauge. This test is known as the CFM 50, the subscript 50 indicating that this is the flow required to achieve a 50 pascal pressure difference across the envelope. The final step will be to perform calculations to adjust or normalize your results so that you can compare them to other buildings or with energy code or program requirements. If we are using the ACH50 method for comparison, we will need to first calculate the condition volume. To do so, we will measure the condition floor area of the home and multiply it by the ceiling height. The formula for ACH50 is the CFM50 times 60 divided by the condition volume. ACH50 is basically the number of times the house volume will exchange if the fan were to maintain a pressure difference of 50 pascals for one hour. An ACH50 of six would mean that the entire volume of the house is exchanging out six times every hour or once every 10 minutes while kept at 50 pascals. Once you have the ACH50, you can calculate ACH natural or the number of air changes per hour under natural or normal conditions. To calculate ACH natural, simply divide ACH50 by N, the LBL conversion factor. N will depend on the climate, the building's wind exposure, and the effect of the stack effect on the building or the number of stories. Envelope leakage ratio requires you to calculate the square footage of the building envelope or SFBE. SFBE represents the sum of the surface areas of the floors, walls, and ceilings that make up the building thermal envelope. You then divide the CFM50 by the area of the building envelope. We refer to this ratio as the envelope leakage ratio, 
or ELR. You can also use the CFM50 to determine the approximate size of the hole in the building envelope. An easy approximation is to simply divide the CFM50 by 1000. So, in this home, the hole would be approximately 2.5 square feet. Once you have determined your results, compare them against the energy code or green building program requirements that you are hoping to certify under. If you find the blower door results are not up to par, you can use a smokestick or infrared camera to find where additional air sealing needs to occur in the home. Please visit southface.org for more information on defining building envelopes.